Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to take a quick break from Sensu, and we'll get back to that in the next video. But real quick, I just wanted to um, have you guys take a look at what I've been doing the past couple days. Basically, I've been trying to set up a uh, Python environment that is accessible from uh, just on my network, and that way I can do some work on my desktop, and then if I get bored or I want to you know, change of scenery. I could just take my laptop and go downstairs or go into the other room and uh, work off my laptop, but remote into the same environment. That way I can just pick up exactly where I left off. Because uh, if you work in IT, uh, you know exactly how this goes, but you'll be working on one thing and then you have to put it on hold for another thing. And then that thing gets put on hold back for the other one that you were working on. So you're jumping between tasks several times a day and you need an easy way of picking back up exactly where you left off. And it's kind of difficult when you're trying to learn a uh, language like Python or JavaScript or whatever it is you're trying to learn. Um, I'm also studying for my AWS certification. So I actually just have like the little workspaces set up. I have two different desktops on here. That way you can actually see, uh, you know, two different desktops that have one for work, one for Python, one for uh, AWS. But I wanted one environment specifically for Python. And the reason for that is because of all the different packages. Um, because I'm not doing software development in Python. I'm more doing automation and scripting, which requires uh, a couple packages depending on what kind of script you're running. Uh, and sometimes different APIs need to be downloaded and stuff like that. So I was making a Discord uh, bot, if you guys are familiar with Python, and you have to download something for that. And then I wanted to interface with my Dyson fan, for example. I had to download some files for that as well. Uh, so it kind of gets annoying having to download something on my desktop. And then if I want to pick up on my laptop, I have to either remote into my desktop, which kind of is a little bit weird. Um, I mean, I guess I could do that, but what's the fun in that? Uh, so basically I'm going to take you guys through the, the steps that I went through to get VNC running on Arch Linux, which the current distribution I'm running is Manjaro Linux. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, the first things first, you have to have the virtual machine and here I am inside my virtual machine and I have the uh, documentation that I followed to get it up and running. Uh, I kind of skipped a little bit of steps because I didn't need to set up everything um, through uh, headless sessions and stuff like that. So basically I just ran X zero VNC to directly control the local display of the computer. Um, reason for that is when you're directly controlling the local display, uh, basically you don't need to have I mean, technically, if you did colon one, you just connect it to the same screen every time. You'd pick up exactly where you left off. But because I'm the only one that's going to be doing this uh, in my house, and I'm the only one that's going to remote into this, I didn't really need to set up different screens and stuff like that for different, um, you know, connections. So essentially, I just installed Tiger VNC, and then um, uh, basically just ran this command. So it's x0 VNC server dash RFB off, and then you pass the file for the VNC password. Uh, that is automatically in uh, your root directory, and then dot VNC, and then select the file is called password, uh, passwd. But um, if you don't have that, then uh, just run VNC password. And then here's where you'd create it. And then from there, you'd have that file. You can run this. And then uh, if you have a VNC viewer, the way I do, I'm just using regular VNC viewer. And then you just put in the password that you created in that VNC password and your VNC did. In. And there you go. Very simple, very quick, easy way to get into the same environment on multiple different computers. This way, you know, if I switch computers in the future or if I have to turn off my computer, um, I'm not losing progress. You know, this is a, this is a virtual machine that, I mean, technically it's running on this computer. So I, if I do turn it off, I would lose progress in this computer, but, um, I won't lose progress if, you know, I turn off my laptop or I'm using my wife's computer or, you know, a different laptop, even if I'm at 
the office, then um, I can either VPN in or uh, RDP in to here and then remote into this through VNC. So just a quick way of getting um, to a uh, controlled environment where I know what's installed, I know what's not installed, I don't have to keep checking for different things and different versions, because that takes time when you're trying to learn uh, a programming language. It takes time to verify that you have all of the proper uh, packages and the versions line up. You know, I might have the Python environment variable uh, set to 2.7 on my laptop, but Python 3 is connected there. So this offers uh, a level of consistency uh, without having to set up two different computers in the same way. My laptop is a Mac and my desktop is a Windows machine, obviously. So it also makes it not difficult, but it just adds another layer of complexity into it. So I'm adding a third layer of complexity into it and just saying I'm going to do everything on Manjaro Linux uh, and I'm going to VNC into it. It, uh, it just kind of keeps it consistent. I get to do everything on here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like, comment below, subscribe for more content similar to this. Um, I am still a little bit new at not only YouTube, but uh, pretty much IT in general. I have been working on it for three years, four years now. But there's, uh, I'm trying to make a switch towards like site reliability and Python and the DevOps and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much what I've been doing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.